Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through Tunnell's test for the carpal tunnel. And this test is designed to see whether or not our patient presents with carpal tunnel syndrome. So the carpal tunnel is the space between the carpal bones at the wrist joint and an arch-like band which sits over the top of those bones called the flexor retinaculum. And in that space between the uh, two structures is where the median nerve runs from the elbow down towards and into the hand. And the relevance of this is that the flexor retinaculum, that uh, arch structure, can compress down on the median nerve, which generates symptoms into the hand, which we'll go through in a second. And this uh, condition where the median nerve is compressed is known as carpal tunnel syndrome. So how do we do this test? We take our fingers and we tap at a point just proximal to the crease of our patient's wrist. And we're going to tap like this and we're going to tap for approximately 30 seconds. One thing I do need to mention here is how hard I'm tapping. Make sure that you have a firm um, pressure as you're completing the test as a very gentle tap will not be enough to sensitize the area. So we're tapping like this, as we said, for about 30 seconds, and a positive outcome in this test would be the presence of either pain, pins and needles, and or numbness in the first, second, third, and the lateral half of the fourth digit of the hand being tested. That would be a positive outcome. So guys, pro tip. Even after you have completed your Tinell's test at the carpal tunnel, and even if it is a positive, we still need to make sure that we also rule out the neck, the shoulder, and the elbow as a potential source of our patient's symptoms. And that is because even if there is a compression of the median nerve at the carpal tunnel, long-term sensitization of nerves around these regions can still cause the similar symptoms in our patient's hand that we described with carpal tunnel syndrome. Also, if you want to be extra sure of your diagnosis, you can ask your specialist to order some nerve conduction studies, which can even further make sure that you have indeed correctly diagnosed carpal tunnel syndrome. So, do we like this test? Yes, we do. We use it all the time in clinical practice. It's very easy to replicate, it's very quick to replicate, and we do find that the majority of the time, if our patient does have carpal tunnel syndrome, this test will bring it out. Guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon right here on Clinical Physio.